Stan Gibalisco here. I am going to demonstrate for you a very simple case of electromagnetism or electromagnetic deflection where a current in a wire interacts with the magnetic field around the needle of a compass. Now an ordinary magnetic compass like this the kind, the old-fashioned kind you might have used uh, when you were a boy scout or a girl scout uh, and you, they still work by the way in case your GPS ever fails if you have a good old-fashioned map and one of these things you can still find your way if you're out in the wilderness somewhere anyway what we have is a wire a straight length of wire running directly underneath this compass the wire running straight north and south in magnetic terms so that the compass needle aligns with it there is no current flowing in the wire at the present time however I have the positive terminal of a lantern battery connected so that it uh, to the bottom end of the wire at the south end of the compass that is a positive terminal of a battery the negative terminal of the battery isn't connected to anything right now but now it is it's connected to the end of the wire that you see at the north end of the compass so the conventional current as physicists would define it flows in this case from the bottom on or the south end to north south to north that's conventional current when the current flows in the wire it produces magnetic lines of flux around the wire or maybe a better term would be circles of flux that lie in planes perpendicular to the wire and that are all centered on the wire when you do an experiment like this by the way you should always use a conventional alkaline lantern battery or alkaline dry cell do not use a lithium battery it could explode and for crying out loud do not use an automotive battery that is a good way to get yourself permanently maimed or even killed so stick with an ordinary lantern battery and never short it out for more than a second or two because even in that brief time that wire will get very hot and it's very hard on a battery like this to do that again the conventional current from plus to minus in this case is flowing upwards causing the needle to deflect counterclockwise towards the west now let's reverse the situation and uh, instead of connecting the positive terminal to the bottom we connect the negative terminal to the bottom so the, the positive terminal will be connected to the top and it will cause a conventional current to flow straight down as we see it here or from north to south what do you suppose will happen when I connect it one guess you were correct most likely the needle rotates in the opposite direction now the magnetic circles of flux around the wire have the exact same intensity and the exact same shape whichever way the current flows however they rotate in the opposite sense when the current flows from the top to the bottom as it does here as compared to the situation when it flows from the bottom to the top as it does there that reverses the sense of the magnetic field around the wire thereby causing the compass needle to go the other way notice it goes about 80 degrees from north in either case 80 degrees counterclockwise 80 to, little over 80 degrees this is not an exact uh, instrument as you can plainly see but the extent 
of the deflection of the needle will depend on the intensity of the current through the wire. The more intense the current, the greater the deflection. It would also, also depend on how far away we put the compass from the wire. Here the wire runs right under the compass, so it has a lot of effect. And thirdly, it would also depend upon the strength of the magnetic field produced by the compass needle itself. The stronger the field, of course, all other things being equal, the greater the deflection would be. Once again, though, when you do this experiment, if you ever decide to try it at home, never short that battery out for more than about a second and make certain that it is an ordinary alkaline battery. Uh, this particular one is an alkaline energizer battery. Make sure it's fresh, of course. And uh, again, never, ever use a lithium or lead acid type of battery for this experiment. That can be extremely dangerous. So, with that, we'll wrap up this little demonstration of electromagnetic deflection, also called electromagnetic interaction. Don't confuse it with electromagnetic induction. That's an entirely different phenomenon. Stan Jabalisco, signing off. Till next time.